One of the most common animals that people ask me about in dreams are snakes. People seem to be scared of dreaming about snakes, and they think they mean there's some bad thing that's going to happen to them. It's no surprise because many people are scared of snakes. But like many things in dreams, snakes don't always have a scary meaning. This video is by request. Hi, I'm Karen, and I dream a lot, and I like to study and talk about dreams and dream interpretation and do them for people. If you've ever dreamed about snakes, put it in the comment down below. And if you have a specific animal that you've dreamed about that you'd like me to do a video on, go ahead and put that in the comments below or DM me over on Instagram. So the first thing I wanted to let you know is if you've dreamed about a snake, it does not mean that something bad is going to happen to you. For some reason, we all think that does. We think it's an omen. Dreams are not omens. Dreams are generally telling you about things that are happening in your waking life that you are maybe not aware of on a conscious level. You're aware of it somewhere, but not consciously, and dreams are bringing it to your awareness. That can be seen as an omen, and there are some dreams that do kind of feel like they've predicted a future for us, but that doesn't mean that every single dream means that something bad is going to happen to you. That's one of my things that I want everybody to know. <laughs> dreams are not telling you something bad is going to happen to you. Dreams are actually telling you very good, positive messages. So let's find out about snakes. On the negative side, so snakes can be negative or snakes can be positive in a dream, just like almost any other symbol, but it seems more complicated for snakes because there's so many different ways that people look at snakes. And Everything that happens in your dream around snakes is going to be affected by your general feelings of snakes. So if you had a pet snake, for example, you'll probably have mostly positive feelings and meanings about snakes in your dreams. If you are super deathly afraid of snakes, if you're like Indiana Jones and you hate snakes or you were in a pit of snakes once and you're scared of them, then snakes in your dreams are going to be more about anxieties and fears and worries and they're not a positive symbol always. Doesn't mean it can't be, but it's probably going to be more of a negative symbol for you. Also depends on your culture, and some cultures see snakes differently than other cultures, so that can affect your meaning. So even though a dream dictionary is a good place to start, a dream symbol is very unique to each person. It depends on how they view that thing. And in the end, the dreamer is the one who decides what something means. So the main thing that a snake can mean on the negative side is a threat. Uh, something you're fearful about happening, something you're worried about. This is something that you are aware is happening already in your waking life, and it's showing up in your dream, not to say this bad thing is going to happen, but to just kind of bring it to your awareness. And something, the, the, the snake will be doing different things, and that will tell you what's kind of going on with this thing that you're worried about. This threat or this thing is hidden from your awareness. So just like snakes are hidden in the grass, this, this thing you're worried about is hidden from your awareness, and this, the dream is bringing it up. People see snakes sometimes as out of control. So maybe this thing that you're afraid of is something you have no control over and you're just afraid it's going to surprise you like a snake would. Again, it doesn't mean it's predicting that there's this threat that's going to happen to you. It's talking about something that you are already aware of. So for example, if the snake in the dream is tangled up, that means that whatever you're worried about, this threat is kind of subsiding. It's 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 kind of slowing down. It's 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 moving in on itself. So it's no longer going to be as big of a threat as maybe you thought it was. And you're feeling better about this thing that has been a worry. Something you thought would be a problem has resolved itself and you didn't have to do anything about it. That's a nice thing to know. If you see a dead snake, and actually a lot of people I hear uh, that talk to me about snake dreams, they tend to see dead snakes. If you see a dead snake, it does mean that the threat has passed. So whatever it was you were worried about is is no longer there. It doesn't bother you anymore. It's, it's not something to worry about. It's something that you, it's passed away. So death in a dream always talks about something passing away. I have a video about that on the channel. You can go ahead and check that out on what it means when you dream that people die. It applies to snakes and animals and other things as well. Dying represents passing away. If you kill the snake, it means that you are have overcome your fear. You were afraid of something and you've overcome it. So you'll probably know that you've overcome that fear and your dream is reminding you of it or to realize and remind yourself. Now, sometimes a snake in a dream can be a stand-in for a person. Animals in dreams can sometimes be a stand-in for a real person that you know in real life, but they show up as animals because maybe you're not as close to them, you don't know them very well, or you don't know these qualities about them very well. So they'll show up as an animal. So one of the things that a snake can represent in a dream is someone that you know who you cannot trust. Someone who might be ruthless or callous or cold and you can't trust them. Now this is not saying, oh, there's this person that's going to come in your life and you can't trust them, don't trust them. That's not what it's saying. 
you already know if there's a person in your life that you don't trust, okay? If the snake shows up in the dream, then you're like, oh, that's talking about so-and-so who I know I can't trust. Like if that's what you decide that the snake means is that it's a person. It's talking about this person you already know that you cannot trust. And it's, it's that person is represented in the dream. So again, not a prediction, not saying, oh, this person you really love, you can't trust them now. That's, that's not what the snake is symbolizing. It is a stand-in for someone you already are aware of that you cannot trust or that you're afraid of truly trusting that person. Those fears are to be respected. Your fears are to be respected. It's not helpful to suppress your fears. It's not helpful to push them away. It's helpful to be aware of them and allow yourself to be fearful and then decide what are you going to do to move through that fear or to transmute that fear. At the end of the video, I will give you some tips on what to do if you don't like the dream or the dream is a very scary dream that you have about snakes. I'll tell you what you can do at the end. If you're enjoying the video so far, please go ahead and click the like button so that more people can find out what it means when they dream about a snake. Thank you. Now let's talk about the positive things that snakes can represent. And, po and actually, snakes have a lot of positive meanings. And that's what I find very interesting when people come to me with their snake dream is to kind of say, well, it could mean these things, it could be healing, it could be some of these other positive meanings. And that's the, the difficulty of doing like somebody just messaging saying, hey, I dreamed about a snake. Well, I don't know what's going on in their real life. I don't know if they're in a place of worry or if they're in a place of healing. And so I would need to talk to them to find out exactly what the snake represents for them. So that's kind of why you need to know what's going on in your waking life to, to interpret your dream and dream dictionaries and videos like this are great places to start, but they're not the end all be all of what it means. Okay, so some of the positive things that snakes mean are, they can represent healing, they can represent transformation, they can represent self-renewal and positive change. And this comes from the um, element of snakes that they shed their skin and they become a new you know, self. And people do that too. We shed skins, we shed roles, we step into new jobs or new, um, roles at home or in our family or new places, all of those things can be represented by a snake. So snakes can represent change and transformation. They can also represent wisdom and knowledge. One of the things that you can look at is what else is happening in the dream? Are there other elements in the dream that also represent wisdom and knowledge, for example? So uh, if you see a, a bunch of books or a shelf of books or a bookstore, that represents wisdom and knowledge. So if there's a snake and a bookshelf, then those are both symbols of wisdom and knowledge. So it's pretty clear that's what the snake means is wisdom and knowledge. So sometimes when you have two symbols in a dream and they can mean the same thing, then that's probably what they do mean is the meaning that they share because the dream is really underlining that for you. I have a great video talking about the dream that James Cameron had when he was 19 years old that ended up becoming Pandora in his Avatar movies. Well, a lot of the imagery in that dream has shared meaning and that underlines what the message of the dream was. It's fascinating. If you are fighting with a snake in your dream, then that means you're fighting against the change. There's some change happening within you and you're fighting against it. And again, that might be something you're starting to be aware of in your waking life, but your subconscious is wanting to bring it to your awareness. Now, sometimes the snake can represent your subconscious or something within your subconscious that you're not aware of. And I, I know that a lot of this is like stuff you're not aware of. <laughs> But a lot of things in dreams are talking about subconscious. Snakes, um, mud, river, dark things, caves, anything underground, a basement, like things down below, underneath, underneath the stairs, going down the stairs, going down in an elevator. All of that is subconscious stuff. So if you, for example, see a snake swimming, then that's talking about emotions that you have repressed. So a snake can represent something that you've repressed and pushed away and, and are, again, having trouble acknowledging it or not wanting to face it. So that can also be what a snake represents. And then a final thing that a snake can represent in a dream is creativity and potential. What if you have a dream about a snake and you feel like it's a threat or it's scaring you or, or you don't like the dream, you know, the snake bites you or something, which is still a representation of a threat or fears and worries. Uh, and then you wake up because the snake is scary and you wake up. And that's what happens in nightmares. Once we get to the scariest point, our, we wake up because we don't want to keep feeling that fear. So what can you do with that? There are three things you can do when you have a dream that you don't like or a nightmare. First of all, you write it down to get it out of your head. So you want to write it down, get rid of it. The second thing you want to do is you want to remind yourself that all dreams are symbols and metaphors 
and this is not literal. It didn't really happen. It may have felt like you really were bitten by a snake, but you were not bitten by a snake. And to remind yourself, this is a metaphor talking about something that's happening in your waking life, some feelings that you're feeling, some worries that you're having, and then you know that you can do next, the next step, and also that you can look at your life and see where am I feeling this fear or this worry, because the dream is actually a safe place for you to face your fear. That's the gift of the dream. It's a safe place for you to face whatever the feeling is that's in the dream. It's safer to feel it in the safety of your bed than it is to feel it when you're out and about in the world. And so that's one of the gifts of the dream. So remember that when you have a scary dream. I, it does help. I, I, it really does. I've woken up many times in the night from a dream I didn't like, and I was like, okay, telling me something I didn't know. Thank you. I appreciate it. And was helping me feel some feelings I needed to feel that I didn't want to feel when I was awake. There is that. But the third thing, which is my favorite thing to do, is to reimagine the dream. So, and I want to speak specifically about monsters and snakes. There are often monsters in our dreams. What to do with that? So when you reimagine a dream, you go back into the dream to the point where you woke up and you're going to play it forward and you're going to give it a different ending that feels better and gives you closure and is not scary. So you're going to give it a more empowering kind of ending. And in the case of a snake, the one thing you don't want to do is like say, oh, the snake disappears, poof, and it's gone. You're not making anything disappear because when you make something disappear in that imagining and the reimagining, you're actually just pushing it farther away and you're not dissipating the energy, you're hiding the energy. So what you want to do is you want to kind of like just dissipate the energy and the ickiness of the dream. So what you do is you imagine something else happening after the thing that scared you and woke you up. So for example, if the snake bites you, then you imagine that all of a sudden you had steel-toed shoes on and it didn't bite you after all. Or the snake turns into a puppy. You can change what the snake is. You can change it into something else. You just don't want to make everything disappear. So it turns into a puppy or all of a sudden it's a rubber snake and you kick it away or you step on the snake or you the snake turns into a bunch of flowers or you know so anything I like flowers, I like turning on lights in dreams, I like turning things into puppies in dreams. Those are fun ways to reimagine the dream. So once you reimagine it, write down your new imagining in your journal or just remember it and that will change your way that you see the dream, it can also prevent you from having future nightmares. When you are able to do that exercise with a nightmare, it really does minimize having nightmares. And also what it does is it kind of opens up your subconscious, which is where the dream is percolated from, and gives the subconscious a path forward on say this worry or this threat. So if there is something worrying you, you weren't aware of what it was, you have a dream and the dream's pointing out, hey, you're really worried about something and you wake up and you reimagine, then you can be like, okay, well, what am I really worried about? What's really worrying me? Oh, okay, yes, it's, it's this project I'm working on or it's this bill that's come due. I'm really worried if I don't pay it, something bad is gonna happen. But because you've reimagined the dream and you have seen, oh, I was able to kick the snake away. Okay, that kind of gives your brain like, oh, I can handle this worry. I can handle this project. I can handle this bill. I can, it'll be okay. So it really brings in that messaging to your body that you're going to be okay, that you're okay, that you can handle it. So reimagining a dream is one of my favorite things to do with nightmares. The good thing about it is the more you reimagine a dream, the less nightmares you have, and then the less you have to do that. <laughs> so now I have to talk to people to find out what their nightmares are so I can help them reimagine their dream. Not to take nightmares very lightly. I know that some people have a lot of nightmares. There's a lot of studies now proving how helpful and how easy it is to treat nightmares. And so I have other videos. Um, I have a playlist on nightmares. So go ahead and check that out because nightmares are definitely treatable and that's just such good news for people uh, who, me included, who have nightmares and have had them um, and, and don't want to have them anymore. So you can stop your nightmares. If you are interested in what it means when you dream about a dog, go ahead and watch the next video. You can follow me over on Instagram at Karen Dreams. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to the channel and you'll see new videos every Wednesday and I will see you in the next one. Thank you.